Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Isaiah chapter 45. Thus says the Lord to Cyrus, his anointed, whom I have taken by the right hand, to subdue nations before him, and to loose the loins of kings, to open doors before him so that gates will not be shut. I will go before you and make the rough places smooth. I will shatter the doors of bronze and cut through their iron bars. I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden wealth of secret places, so that you may know that it is I, the Lord, the God of Israel, who calls you by your name. For the sake of Jacob, my servant, and Israel, my chosen one, I have also called you by your name. I have given you a title of honor, though you have not known me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Besides me, there is no God. I will gird you, though you have not known me, that men may know from the rising to the setting of the sun that there is no one besides me. I am the Lord, and there is no other, the one forming light and creating darkness, causing well-being and creating calamity. I am the Lord who does all these. Why do bad things happen? We can't always definitively answer that question, but we can believe Scripture's declaration that God has a purpose for everything. Our faith should rest in the fact that the Lord is sovereign. When those of us who are believers are in the middle of a trial, it's hard to resist crying out, Dear God, why is this happening? Sometimes we get an answer, and sometimes we don't. But we can be sure nothing happens by accident. We have His promise that He will cause all things to work together for good to those who love God. We won't always know how God will work all things for our benefit. Our limited human perspective often doesn't allow us to grasp His greater plan. However, the Heavenly Father's good handiwork is in everything, even our pain, hardships, and losses. He turns mourning into gladness and provides bountiful spiritual blessings and benefits from our darkest hours. Believers must accept that things won't always make sense to us. Isaiah teaches that God's ways and thoughts are higher than our own. He sees the beautifully completed big picture. We can rely on the fact that God is in control, no matter how wildly off-kilter our world seems to be.